Good morning and welcome to Kid City. I'm Leslie and I'm so glad you've joined me to learn about God this morning. We are going to worship by singing, we will draw a picture, and we will learn a really cool story about Jesus. Okay, today's Bible story is about forgiveness. Forgiveness is when someone chooses to love you even though you made a mistake or hurt them. Have you ever done something wrong or hurt someone? One time, one of my kiddos broke something of mine that was really, really expensive, and they were really scared to tell me that they broke it because they thought I would be really mad. And even though I was a little upset at first, I forgave my child because I love them so much. Did you know that God promises that He will always forgive you? If you hurt someone's feelings, it hurts God too, but God promises to forgive you. Today in our Bible cartoon, we will get to watch how Jesus forgave someone. I'm excited to learn about God's forgiveness with you today. Before we get started, will you pray with me? Okay, close your eyes and let's talk to God together. Lord, thank you that you are a good, forgiving God. I pray that each kiddo watching today would learn about your forgiveness and would understand how much you love them and that they can always go to you, no matter if they've done something wrong or made a mistake, that you are a good, forgiving God. We thank you that you are such a good father. Amen. Hi friends, welcome to Church at Home. My name is Michelle and I'm so glad that you're here. Today, we are going to have fun together learning all about God's promises. Now, did you know that God makes promises? Yep, it's true, and God never breaks a promise. So, today we get to learn about God's promises to forgive us. And there's a song that talks about how we can be forgiven by God because of what Jesus did for us. 
When we believe in what Jesus did on the cross and that He came back to life and is now in heaven back with God, the Bible tells us that God promises to forgive our sins. Isn't that amazing? I think we should sing and celebrate Jesus' love for us right now. Let's sing, I Believe in Jesus, together. This song is called, I Believe in Jesus. We're gonna all start with our hands up like this. You came from heaven, you loved me, you loved me, gave up all you had, you saved me, you saved me. Your life was given, you loved me, you loved me, so I live forever, you saved me, you saved me. Let's sing, I will trust. I will trust in Jesus. I will live to follow him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, hands up like this. You came from heaven. You loved me. You loved me. Gave up all you had. You saved me. You saved me. Your life was given. You loved me. Clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. We hear ya. It. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe in Jesus. Yeah, I believe in Jesus. I believe he came to save. I believe in Jesus Christ. I will trust in Jesus. I will trust in Jesus. I will live to follow him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, let's clap our hands. Here we go. That was great! You can all sit down now. That song was all about how we can trust and believe in Jesus. Jesus is God's Son, and He showed us that God can be trusted to keep His promise to forgive us. You know, that reminds me of a story I know about a woman who sinned by doing things that God said was wrong. It's a story that comes straight out of this book. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's the Bible. And the Bible is God's special book. You see, some people didn't think that this woman should be forgiven. But let's see what Jesus says. Are you ready for the story? If so, put on your listening ears and your thinking caps and let's watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible, Jesus and the Sinful Woman. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms 
attacked and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees named Simon asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So Jesus went over to his house and a certain sinful woman heard that he was eating there. She went to the house and brought a jar filled with expensive perfume. She kneeled at Jesus' feet and cried. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them with her hair. She kissed his feet and put the perfume on them. Simon saw this and said to himself, Yeah. If this man really were a prophet, he'd know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Blah. Then Jesus said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Ah, uh, okay. And he told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, Thank you. and 50 pieces to the other. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello again. But neither of them could repay him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So he kindly forgave them both. Eh, that's okay. Canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon said that the one who owed him more loved him more. Jesus said, Yep. That's right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water or wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, who is this man? that he goes around forgiving sins. And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Did you see that? Jesus forgave that woman. Some people did not think that Jesus should forgive the sinful woman, but because she loved God and she was sorry for her sins, Jesus forgave her. He loved her that much. And when we do something wrong or bad, the right thing to do is to ask for forgiveness. And whenever you ask God to forgive you, guess what? He will. That's one of His promises to you. He forgives you because He loves you. And that reminds me of our Bible verse. But I can't show it to you right now because it's covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop all the bubbles? Hey, if you have bubbles of your own, let's pop the bubbles together. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time! A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, You got all the bubbles and now I can see our Bible verse, which is Hebrews 619. And it says, this hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. That verse reminds us that our hope is in Jesus. God loves us so much and he has so many promises for us, like promising to forgive us. So if we do something that we're not supposed to, we can have hope and trust God to forgive us. 
Well, I think that we should sing a song to help us remember that verse. What do you think? Let's stand up and sing Hebrews 6.19. This song is Hebrews 6.19, and you guys, this is how it goes. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. We're gonna sing that all together, and I wanna hear you guys sing it out. Here we go. This hope is a strong, is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls, anchor for our souls. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls, anchor for our souls. Sing Hebrews 6, 19. Hebrews 6, 19. Time to dance. Let me see you guys all dancing. Can you jump up and down? And can you go real low? And then real high? And then let me see you spin around. All right, you guys, we're going to sing that again. This hope, let me hear you sing it out. This hope is a strong, is a strong and trustworthy. Hebrews 6, 19. Hebrews 6, 19. All right, it's time to dance. Everyone jumping up and down. Let me see you moving those feet. And let's go ahead and spin around. And let's go the other way. All right, you guys, great job singing that song. Great singing and dancing, you can sit down now. Remember, that verse tells us that we can trust God. His promises are good and it gives us hope. I heard that Winston's next episode of Super Scuppets teaches us more about this. You see, some of the Super Scuppets made some mistakes, but I don't want to ruin the story for you. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and check out Super Scuppets. On a cool, dreary day in Scuppeton, Han was working in his lab when it... Hmm. Oh, I got it! When it exploded! It gave everyone super power! Thus, the formation of the Super Scuppets, a group of heroes who are committed to fighting for truth, hope, and the Scuppeton way! These are the adventures of the Super Scuppets! The Super Scuppets got a lead on where the Bad Scuppets lair was! So the Crimson Wonder, that's me, and the Electric Canary were moving in to capture him once and for all! Do you see anything yet, Crimson Wonder? Negative, Electric Canary! Oh no! Are, are you guys seeing this? into Crumpyton? And he is using my thoughts to make everyone grumpy? No, sir. No one gets my thoughts but me. We have to stop him. I'm going to take the happy zapper. No, Zara. Don't touch it. Ah! Zara! <laughs> I'm fine. Now let me go. Is she's okay? I'm fine, okay? Just... Just leave me alone! And it's she! I'm just one scuppet! Why do you have to add an S to every word you say? Uh, uh, I, I just don't always know all the words! Yeah, we all know that. Um, Sora, I think we should have Han look at you! Why? So we can come up with some ridiculous plan? No thanks. Hey, 
We're just trying to help you. You don't have to be so grumpy about it. Why can't I be grumpy? You're grumpy all the time. What's her deal? She's been hit by the happy zapper. Sora doesn't have her happy? It appears not. Uh-ohs. Uh-ohs, right. Hey, can we talk? Why? Because you just aren't yourself. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to. Everyone thinks of me as the happy one, but maybe, maybe I don't want to be happy. Maybe I just want to be grumpy. So just leave me alone. No, I'm not leaving. Well then, I'll make you leave me alone. Sora, no! She almost zapped me. What? That's it. We gotta stop her. It's not like Zara, though. That's right. She's not Zara anymore. We gotta take her down. No! We have to save her. How's? Well, there could be one way. What way? The happy zapper seems like it's taking away all the happy, and it's making Zara store up all her bad feelings towards us. If we get rid of those bad feelings, that may bring the happy back. How do we do that? Forgiveness. Correct. What? We've learned this a million times. To forgive someone means to let go of your bad feelings toward them. So, if we forgive Zora, maybe she'll be able to let go of her bad feelings for us. There's no guarantee. But we have to try. I told you to leave me alone. Zora, we are here to forgive you. <sighs> for what? I forgive you for trying to zap me. I forgive you for thinking I come up with ridiculous plans. I forgive you for being grumpy. And I forgive you for saying mean things to me. I I forgive you guys too. I'm letting go of my bad feelings. <gasps> what happened to me? I felt so grumpy. You were hit by the happy zapper. Oh, oh no! I'm so sorry for the mean things I did. Don't worry about it. You're forgiven. And that's how the Super Scuppers learned that forgiveness is far more powerful than any happy zapper that the bad Scuppet could create. Wow, Zara said some really mean things to Bestos, Winston, and Hector after she touched the happy zapper. Even though she said hurtful things to her friends, they all chose to forgive her. Hector said something really important. He said, forgiveness means to let go of your bad feelings toward them. When the super scuppets forgave her, Zara said she was letting go of her bad feelings. And you know, sometimes I do the wrong thing like Zara, and I know that you might do the wrong thing too. And the Bible tells us that God will always forgive us when we ask Him to, because God loves us. And now, to help us remember God's promise to forgive us and our story today, Gus is going to teach us how to draw Zara, also known as the electric canary. So, make sure that you have your crayons and your paper, and let's color with Gus. here! Are you ready to color? Today, we're doing this super scuppet. Her name is the Electric Canary. We're gonna start by making her nose with a little circle in the middle of the paper. Go up just a little above her nose and make two bigger circles right next to each other for her eyes. That's right! Now make two little circles inside those circles and color them in. There you have it! Those are her eyes! Next, let's make the rest of her face. So, starting next to the side of her eye, we're gonna come down and around, making little zigzags all the way around. Because she has fur, just like me. Yeah, you did it! Okay, now go right up here to the side of her eye again, make spiky lines up and down around the top of her head to the other side. Time to make a little smile. Make two curved lines and color them in. And now it's time to color her all in. First, let's color in her little nose orange. Great. And then let me get my yellow marker 
and we're gonna color the rest of her face because she's bright yellow. I've got my yellow marker here, and we're just gonna color, color, color. <laughs> this is so much fun. And there you go, the electric canary, who you may also know as Zara. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coloring with me today. Bye. Great job coloring, friends. You did such a good job. Remember, God promises to forgive you just like he forgave the sinful woman in the Bible story and like the super scuppets forgave each other in the super scuppets story. We can trust God to keep his promise to forgive us. I think we should talk to God right now by praying to him and thanking God for his promises. So let's put five fingers here, five fingers there, put them together for a prayer. Let's talk to God. Dear God, I love you so much. And because you love me, you promise to forgive me. I ask that you will help me to ask for forgiveness when I do something wrong. And that when someone does something wrong to me, that I can forgive them just like you have forgiven me. I love you so much. And in Jesus name I pray, amen. Hey, I love praying with you and spending time together for church at home. Even though we're done with our time together here, there is still so much for you to enjoy. We have some fun crafts and activities that you can find online. So have a parent help you go to saddlebackkids.com to check out the cool things we have put together for you to do at home to remember all the things that we talked about today. I hope you have a fantastic week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.